If you've just started your crypto journey or maybe just crypto curious, there's a phrase you're going to hear all the time. Not your keys, not your crypto. All crypto assets have a public address that can be shared with anyone for receiving crypto and a private key that gives access to move funds out of your digital wallet. That should never be shared. Proper use of seed phrases and passphrases help secure private keys. What is a passphrase though? And how do I create one? How do passphrases fit in with seed phrases? If you're asking this question about your own portfolio security, you've come to the right place. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, my name is Ben. My mission is to empower you to find financial freedom through crypto assets. If that sounds good, make sure to click that subscribe button don't forget to tap that little bell for notifications. So let's define some terms first. Private key, seed phrases, and passphrases. Private key, it's the backbone of crypto assets. It's the base layer 256-bit randomly generated code of numbers that's made when you make a digital wallet. They look like this. But if you had to type that number in to retrieve your Bitcoin, Litecoin, or any other crypto asset, that would be very tedious. So the developers made a shortcut that retains the security of a private key, but is easier to manage. The seed phrase is a collection of 12 to 24 words that represent your private key. It can be custom made or randomly generated from the wallet itself. It's something you should write down on a piece of paper, keep it stored in a very safe location. Most crypto experts suggest memorizing it as well. Either way, if you lose it, your assets will be gone forever. Passphrases, a heightened level of security similar to two-factor authentication that you can choose to add to your seed phrase. Passphrases are also called seed extensions, extension words, extension phrases, 13th word for 12 word seed phrase wallets, and 25th word for 24 word seed phrase wallets. Whatever it's being called, a passphrase is an extra layer of security added to your seed phrase that the user creates themselves. Of course, speaking of security, help us secure our channel within the YouTube algorithm. All you have to do is take a minute, smash up that like button. If it takes you a minute, you're pretty slow. It's the best way you can help the channel and it gets more crypto content out to more people. So we know leaving coins on exchanges or storing them in custodial wallets is giving ownership of your private keys to others, allowing them to control how much of our crypto we can move, when, and for what cost. It's a little like keeping a genie in a bottle. Where's Christina Aguilera when you need her? Giving final say on something as powerful as crypto to someone else. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Passphrases can be added to your wallet configuration. Once you set a passphrase, it has to be entered every time you run your wallet. This is unlike the seed phrase that you write down when you configure your wallet, store it somewhere safe, and only use it when you need the wallet to be restored. By default, wallets leave passphrases blank. Some don't support passphrases at all. To add a passphrase to a ledger or Trezor wallet, for example, passphrase configuration can be found in advanced settings. Enter any passphrase you want and make sure you remember it. Choosing a good passphrase can be tricky. They should be complicated and randomized, but easy enough to remember. A conventional passphrase like to the moon, and don't get me started on diamond hands, is easy to guess, especially considering that there is password cracking software out there and available, and hackers are using it. Your favorite movie quote or song lyric, same applies. They're just too easy to guess. Everyone knows you just can't quit crypto. A good passphrase should be strong and memorable and be at least four words in length. Wallet platforms allow different character length limitations. Trezor allows 50 characters, while Cold Card and Ledger allow 100. You have to consider how often you'll log into your wallet and how likely it is that you will remember the password. It's always best to back up the password with traditional pen and paper. Keep it safe in a fireproof vault. There are also many encrypted digital password managers that provide a safe way to store your passcode. 
So no matter what you choose as your passphrase and how you choose to store it, remember to assess the risk if you forget or lose it and act accordingly. Once you set a passphrase, a wallet can no longer be recovered with a seed phrase alone. This means that if you lose your hardware device or something happens to the phone or computer where a software wallet is stored, you'll need the seed phrase and the passcode. Also, when you set a passphrase, put some crypto into your wallet, you will see your crypto. If you install a second wallet using just the seed phrase without the passphrase, the new wallet will show a zero balance, even if there's crypto in it. This could lead to some panic, especially if you're new to wallet configuration and security. Once the passcode is set, it's necessary for all wallets to be configured with the same seed phrase and passphrase. This is why a passphrase is an excellent tool, but it can also be a risk because a passphrase is an added layer of security that only you know. It can quickly become a single point of failure that could allow all the crypto in that wallet to be inaccessible forever. forever. This is true also with the seed phrase, but many users are now accustomed to storing seed phrases properly when they configure their crypto wallets. With a passphrase, the user may assume that they'll remember the phrase, but if they don't back it up properly by writing it down and storing it somewhere separate and offline, it could spell trouble. There's no forgot my passphrase button. If it's lost or forgotten, so's the crypto. Do you need a passphrase? If you have a lot of crypto and you're very careful with recording and storing its backup information, it might be a good idea. If you're the type to store seed phrases meticulously on a steel plate or in a fireproof safe, a passphrase can be an added level of security that you might want to use. If on the other hand, you have seed phrases written down and stored in forgotten places, well, a passcode might add another possibility for crypto to be lost forever. Don't worry, I know you're better at safekeeping your crypto than that, but there have been plenty of stories of people losing millions of dollars to lost seed phrases, keys, passwords. In a lot of these cases of lost crypto, the problem is that when the crypto was initially bought or mined, it wasn't worth very much. Seems less critical to back up a wallet with a few hundred dollars worth of crypto in the wallet. And it usually doesn't get the same care as, say, a wallet that holds a Bitcoin or two. That's why it's Always best to back up passcodes and wallet restoration information is if the coins are worth a million dollars because who knows, someday they might be. Passphrases, seed phrases, and private keys only work on a non-custodial wallet, which means a wallet that you own the private keys to. The first indication that a wallet is non-custodial is when you are prompted to record a seed phrase to set up the wallet. A custodial wallet means that someone else has custody of the private keys, like an exchange or custodial wallet platform. Examples of non-custodial hardware or cold storage wallets that store crypto offline are Exodus, Ledger, Trezor, KeepPay, ColdCard, many others. Examples of non-custodial software wallets that store crypto online are Crypto.com, Metamask, BitPay, and Trust Wallet. Examples of custodial wallets that don't give users private keys and no option to create a passphrase to secure their crypto are Coinbase, Free Wallet, Binance, and BitMEX. If you want to deal on cold wallets and software wallets, check out bitboycrypto.com slash deals. Although less secure, some customers prefer custodial wallets because there's less risk involved in making a mistake or losing the information needed to restore a non-custodial wallet. Custodial wallets are a great way for beginners to start purchasing and storing crypto. Just don't forget to use strong passwords and two-factor authentication, like Google Authenticator to verify login attempts and withdrawals. You can also use hardware security keys with some wallets, like Coinbase. Security keys are encrypted USB devices that can be registered to a Coinbase account and are small enough to fit on a keychain. Like everything we've talked about today, the security key can be lost. So it's best to register multiple security keys 
have a backup. Setting up any two-factor authentication can usually be done in the platform security settings. We stand by not your keys, not your crypto, and prefer non-custodial wallets to give users their own private keys and allow them to move their crypto and secure it in any way they want. This is crypto after all, a way to have ownership over money in a way that has never been done before in all of history. So let's review. Non-custodial wallet means owning private keys. Private keys should never be shared, represent final control and ownership of crypto. Public keys facilitate transactions and verify the digital signature. A wallet address is basically a hashed version of the public key. Both public keys and wallet addresses can be shared with other people. Seed phrases are generated when a new wallet is created and can restore a crypto wallet. And finally, passphrases are an optional extension of the seed phrase created by the user. Once a passphrase is set up, it has to be entered with the seed phrase in order for the wallet to be restored. Seed phrases and passphrases should be recorded somewhere safe and never be shared. Crypto is about decentralization and self-sovereignty. You control your wealth, not banks, not governments, not your great uncle, I don't care how funny he was. If you're watching this video, you're ahead of the curve, well on your way to securing your future. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good way out.